Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about this dog is getting old. I've never talked about my dog, Tyler, on this video, on my entire channel over the past nearly four years of my channel's airing. Tyler was never talked about. He was only briefly seen in some of my videos, but I've never talked about him. But since his birthday was just a few days ago, I figured why not talk about him? and talk about his entire story of how we adopted him and how he came to be our crazy chaotic dog. So this story all started back in 2014, back in June, I'd say on Father's Day, where it was just me, my little brother, and um, my mom. We went out to this old lady's house who was having puppies. And it was only a few puppies that she showed us. I was holding a girl puppy, which was Tyler's sister at the time. And then my mom was holding Tyler, who the old lady just called him Bear because we didn't have a name for him at that time when we um, when we were shown the puppies. And I really wanted a girl puppy. But my mom and my little brother were like, you know what, let's just get the boy puppy. And I'm thinking, all right, fine, just get the boy puppy. And that's what we had. The lady would just nickname him Bear the whole time, so we had to think of a better name besides Bear. And my little brother had never gotten a chance to name any of the pets we've had in our lifetime. So my little brother decided to name our dog Tyler. And the reason why he picked that name is because, you know, he watched this show on Disney Channel called Dog with the Blog, and one of the characters on the show was named Tyler, so he just pick that name and it just stuck. It just stuck. And I'm like, all right, Tyler's a good name. And funny enough, my older brother wanted to name Tyler Stu. <laughs> that is kind of funny. That's kind of funny how he wanted to name him Stu just because. I mean, considering how old our dog Tyler is now, he might as well be a Stu. And then... On the on the car ride home, it was it was kind of rough. He would get car sick. He would get car. Tyler would get car sick a couple of times whenever we'd take him on car rides. But as soon as the years passed, he would love car rides. We would say certain words to Tyler, and he would go nuts. Those words would be walk, bye bye, and sometimes milk bone. He would eat milk bones for the past several years, but then after a while, he just got tired of milk bones. So we just never gave him milk bones and switched his treats as he got older. And over the past few years, Tyler was great. We we tried to train him. I'd say try in quotes because we didn't do much. We just teach him how to sit, and that was basically it. So... And then we and then we started to realize how much cracks begin to show. I say cracks because Tyler grew to be chaotic. Because regardless of whoever shows up at her house, whenever the doorbell rings, whenever someone knocks on the door, or if someone comes home, if our family members come home in the middle of the night, our dog would start raiding the alarm. He would start sounding an alarm and start barking like crazy especially in the middle of the night Tyler would wake himself up out of his own sleep just to cause ruckus and that would annoy my older brother so much and speaking of my older brother he has a hate relationship with the dog and I can understand why he has a hate relationship with the dog and it's never stopped it's always been a hate relationship with the dog. No one hates the dog more than he does. But regardless, he's got more love than hate. He's got more lovers in the family than haters. So I'd say my older brother is the, his number one hater. I'd say. And another part of the cracks, technically, I'd say over the past few years, we started to realize something wasn't right about our dog is that he developed a skin condition. It was so bad to the point where his body would stink up and his 
skin would flake off and I would like to call frosted flakes because they were so, they were tiny skin flakes peeling all over. Like Tyler, our dog Tyler would love to come up on our beds and snuggle under the covers. And whenever he does, whenever he would just stink up the bed and leave little flakes all over. And that would annoy my little brother too, because my little brother loved the dog. But ever since he had that skin condition, it was so bad to the point where my mom tried everything to try and fix the problem. Coconut oil, expensive sham, um, shampoo from the vet that, that, um, that they would prescribe. It was just, it was a mess. But over, uh, after a while, she was able to get Tyler's skin condition under a manageable level instead of three times uh, instead of baths three times a week, it was at least once or twice a week. I think once a week of baths, but it's not too bad. His his skin is still flaky here and there, but it's not as bad as how it used to be. And now that our dog Tyler is getting older, I'd say this is where the fun begins. Just last weekend... I was chilling in bed until I heard my mom scream, oh my God, Tyler, you lost a tooth. And then that immediately got me to sprawl up out of my bed and check on Tyler. And my mom was holding Tyler's tooth in her hand. It was one of his front teeth. And I'm thinking, oh my God, he did lose a tooth. And that's a, that's a sign of how Tyler's just getting old. It happens. And uh, how his teeth are not usually brushed, but uh, we just don't brush her. We just don't brush his teeth, and that that's kind of the result of him losing a tooth. But that's okay. When when pets get older, they lose teeth. They you know get old. But on Tyler's case, regardless of him losing a tooth and him just turning ten years old, which is amazing considering how he's a small puppy, and smaller puppies tend to. Um, live lot, a lot longer lives. Tyler is a sweet puppy. Once you get to know him, he can be a bit, you know, timid when it comes to family members coming here or st even strangers. Tyler would just get a bit iffy with strangers, but as soon as um, they stay here a bit longer, maybe an hour or so, Tyler would go nuts, like even even kiss you. Tyler's that crazy. He'll even get up on top of you and love you and kiss you once he gets to know you. And he's not that bad of a dog, actually. He's he's basically all bark, no bite. Well, I'd say bite in quotes because he did bite a veterinarian one time during COVID when he was getting a vet check. And um, he did bite somebody. And that caused him to get quarantined for two weeks. So uh, there was that situation, and it was kind. It was kind of shocking, surprising. Like Tyler's usually all bark, no bite. He'd never bite anybody, but that happened. So Tyler would bite anybody if he would feel threatened. So he's still friendly. He can be friendly once he gets to know you, but if you try to provoke him, he would bite. No, no, no pulling punches. He will actually bite you. So, but regardless, I still love my dog, Tyler, and he's a sweet puppy. He's been a part of our family for 10 years, and it hasn't changed since. And he's become a very good, good, loving family member in our lives. And I wouldn't change a thing about our dog. Sweet snuggler, Tyler Bear Vest. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.